عندما يراك الله وأنت تتعب وتجاهد وتنكسر وتقوم يراك الله سبحانه كلما وقعت في معصية وذنب حزنت في نفسك وانكسرت وذهبت إليه ورجوت منه سبحانه المغفرة والعفو الله رحيم جل جلاله يراك ويعلم ولكن الله يحب الصدق الذي في قلبك أنك فعلا تريد الله وتحب الله تعالى The love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only love that a person should seek unconditionally and do whatever it takes to gain that love. And if you gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then anyone whose love is worth having is going to be transferred to you as well. So if you gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jibreel alayhi salam will love you, the angels will love you, and the people whose love is worth having will love you as well. Don't worry about what people think of you. Because people will never be satisfied. They will never be satisfied. No matter what you do, they will stab you in the back. Some of your best friends will let you down at some point. It's expected. They are human too. None of it's going with you. There are two, <laughs> there are two things that go into your grave. You and your deeds. That's it. You can amass the whole entire world if you wanted. The moment you die, it goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Enjoy as much of this life as you want. It's okay. As long as it is halal, brothers and sisters, you can have whatever you want from this life. You can build yourself golden palaces in this world if you like. If it's permissible and you've earned it halal, enjoy it halal. Bismillah. But know that you're not taking a damn bit of it with you. Allah says, I will never burden a soul with anything more than that which it can carry. Whatever you're going through, no matter how hard, Know that Allah knows you can get through it. Allah knows you can pass. And you have to believe this. Otherwise, what you're implying indirectly that Allah is unjust and Allah is burdening me with something I can't handle. And Allah says, I will never do this to my slave. Never. You can plan. Allah has a bigger plan. Allah has a better plan. Allah knows what's good for you. He knows what's bad for you. Sometimes he plans for something you think is very, very bad for you. But it will be the most positive thing that ever happened in your life. Subhanallah. There is an hour on a Friday, the dua is accepted. If you call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in that moment, you will definitely get what you've asked for, for as long as it does not have sin or something evil in it.